I drew a line down like this, what equation would you say that line has? Okay, so you can clearly see it's going through the number two and it's going through the number two on the x-axis. So the equation of this line would actually be x equals two. Okay, and a lot of students don't know this little trick. Okay, let's test you on another line. Imagine we had a line going across horizontally here through the number one. What's the equation of that line? Well, it clearly goes through one and it goes through one on the y-axis, on the y-axis. So this would be the line y equals one. Okay, let's test you with a real GCSE question. Okay, part C. On the grid, draw the line with the equation y equals minus three. Okay, so there's a minus three here there's a minus three here, so which one are we gonna draw the line through? Well, it said y equals minus three. So we need to find the minus three that's on the y-axis, and the y-axis is the vertical axis, so here's the minus three here, that's on the y-axis, and we need a horizontal line that goes through that, not a vertical line like this, because that would go through everything, that would go through minus two, minus four, everything else but a horizontal line like this would perfectly just go through a single number, which is minus three. So now we've drawn the line in green, which is the line with the equation y equals minus three. And that's how to draw equations of vertical and horizontal lines.